pretty sure we got running up and running here. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate you sticking around, especially for those, uh, like, I think I got, like, ten people who constantly watch my stuff. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> you guys are real special to me. Um, but basically what I wanted to do right here is I wanted to make a, um, I wanted to do a series on Neo where I just go through the game to show you that you don't have to rely on builds. That's one thing that I really cannot fucking stand that the Neo community loves so much. And I have never, ever liked the idea of builds. Um, they're just restrictive. Instead of allowing the player to switch on the fly and, and you know have a lot of fun in doing that, you build yourself up in one direction, and it's very difficult, impossible in a lot of the Dark Souls games, to go in another direction, and so people end up making uh, tons and tons and tons of these builds. And um, it just... I don't like playing that way. I don't like playing an action game that way. I don't like playing an action game where uh, I have to, you know, set stats in a certain way and play around with stats or, or play around with making my weapons powerful. I prefer an action game where the action is built off of the fact that you have to, you have to time things correctly. You have to think about what you're doing. You have to move correctly. You have to... You know, you have to make the right decisions on the fly, right? So that's what I'd much rather prefer out of an action game, and that's really what I was expecting for Neo. I thought it would be more Ninja Gaiden uh, than Dark Souls, um, and no. <laughs> no, it's much more Dark Souls than it is Ninja Gaiden. So what I'm going to try and do here is I really want to store my uh, my stuff before I give it... I wanted to, I wanted to, to record actually giving my stuff up um, so you could see that I was actually doing that I just realized that I have a lot of stuff man um, I have a lot of my stuff in general by the way I'm talking about like all my stuff like I'm, I don't want the money I don't want to use the money I don't want you I don't want the souls or whatever let's get with a, let's go with a sexy squilliam gonna go with the the sexy samurai jackass right there all right we're gonna strip this motherfucker down to the bone so that I'm the Samurai Ninja right now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we'll have to go and get my Samurai Ninja set better, uh, back. But we're going to get rid of all of this. All of these, like, I don't want any of this shit. I don't want to have any of it. So, I guess I just store it all? I guess. Holy shit, I didn't realize how much stuff I have. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff. Oh, my God. Isn't there any way to move this faster game? Uh, I can't move my syllabar. Um, I can't move these either because they're equipped. Move. Yeah, take all this shit off. But yeah, uh, I guess I'll just use this first episode for like 10 minutes while I'm doing this to, to bitch. But uh... Yeah, it's, it's really... It was really disappointing to me to see... Uh, this happen because with Neo, I always thought at the beginning at least that it was about skill you know what I'm saying it was about timing but as much as people on Facebook want to lie to me and claim that um, you know what I'm saying that the game isn't simply about doing ridiculous amounts of damage that is absolute horseshit you guys have seen it you've seen me play with people online where they literally just go up to someone or an enemy and hack them to pieces and they don't have to think about it. They don't have to try. They just do it. You know what I'm saying? Because they have too much health. I mean, too much, um... Sorry. The enemy, uh... <laughs> doesn't have enough health to survive the fucking onslaught of slashes that this person is giving in one combo, yo. In one combo, they're cutting down these enemies like crazy. And I can't stand that, you know? I... It, it breeds complacency and laziness in our community. And it makes, uh... It ends up... Oh, this is going to be a long time. Okay, <laughs> I got rid of most of it. It ends up having it to where I will go online nowadays, and I'm absolutely certain you are the same way. And you get this situation where people literally hold your hand 
and they don't really I don't think they really understand what they're doing but they kill so many of the enemies so quickly because of this fucking build situation we have going on in Neo that you can't actually enjoy playing the game uh oh I can't get rid of this stuff yeah you can't actually enjoy playing it because they end up killing it I guess I can't get rid of my smithing materials but I guess I just won't use them I don't have to use them no Unassigned. I'm going to take all this stuff. It looks like I don't have to get rid of all my stuff. But I am going to, definitely. So I, I'm actually going to get rid of my souls by, I guess, dying twice. But I, I can't get rid of my materials. I tried. Um, how can I use this? You have to have a... Uh, this is weird, this syllabar situation. They won't let you use it by yourself. So I try to forge tools. Oh, here it is. Grants, blah, 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 Emery to when used. Uh, oh, I don't know how that worked, but whatever. I'm not going to use it. Um, so I have zero Emery to right now, but what I have to do is head back over here to the storehouse and use a book of reincarnation. So I can get rid of all my stuff. I don't think I can get rid of my skills, unfortunately. Um, I don't know if I can do that. Whoops, looks like I should have planned better, right? <laughs> Let's see. You got Sai. You got Sai to yourself. Holy moly. Yeah, I guess as long as I have the Syllabar ingot, it keeps my Emrita. That's a lot of Emrita. The ingot is made a special kind of silver that allows you to store and use Emrita easily. The technique of infusing Emrita into Syllabar is close to God to go to the Master Smith who use Spirit Stones. Only when they are sure beyond any doubt that their customer can be trusted will they accept the work uh, involving this prize med uh, medal. I don't know what the hell that means. Can I not be trusted? Is that what this is? Patronage used. Current patronage level. Fuck off! I don't what I don't have a patronage level with Muramasa. That doesn't make any sense. Patronage levels. Oh, 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 oh! I know what you mean. I know, I know what they mean. Um, I, I unfortunately I don't think I can get rid of some things. I can't get rid of my skills. I can't get rid of. Uh, I can't really get rid of my money as much as I would like to. I, I wish you could lose it somehow but I can't so we're gonna start bone ass naked in this fucking uh in this first level here and we're on the way of the samurai because if we tried anything else we'd be done so all right so uh I guess I'm just gonna die twice and lose all my stuff whatever I just I'm really upset with how <laughs> how how much people rely on builds, man. It's... And I swear to you, I swear to you, I talk to people on Facebook about this, and they act like it's not even an issue. Like, duh, that's what you're supposed to do. Well, I guess. I guess it's an option that you could take, but it ends up making it to where people are so powerful that all they have to do is repeat the same steps of attacking an enemy over and fucking over. Damn, they stripped that sexy man! <laughs> Coming off that boat! All you have to do is attack over and over and over again, and you can kill someone, and then you don't have to try at all, you know? There's the R, the uh, Nigatama. <laughs> oh, no, 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 it's it's Nigatama when they, uh, when they, uh, when they're purified. It's Aratama when they're evil. <laughs> Stupid. Alright. What do we get? Oh, we didn't get anything. Okay. All right, so I guess I'll just have to limit my um, my upgrading as I see fit. But we're definitely going to get rid of my dual spirits here because you're not going to start out with dual spirits. And you're not going to start out with access to blue dragon either. So let's just get rid of blue dragon. You don't start out with ac access to Suzaku either. So we'll get rid of Suzaku. So... Uh, the one I started out with was Isunade, because with Isunade, every time you kill an enemy, you get healed. So we're going to unassign the dragon. We're just going to have Isunade. There we go. And, uh, 
Let's get murdered. Uh, do it. Uh, do it. Oh, baby. Oh, darling. So I'm not going to go through the, the tactics of fighting because I've already done that in my Samurai Jackass series. So I don't need to do that again. <laughs> ah! You bitch! Really, dude? Kick you! And then stomp on you! Kick you again! <laughs> Beat your ass! Punch through your blocking! Fucker! Ugh. <laughs> Beat your ass! <laughs> Tall white dude! <laughs> Tall naked white dude beating his ass! Kick! And then stomp! Alright, I better let him do it. Just have some tea. You're an asshole! I'm having tea, you bastard! <laughs> All right. <laughs> so first and foremost, you're going to start the game here. We're going to call Isunade back. It's going to um release all of my souls. Call back. Oh. It, it still wouldn't take all of them? No. I don't I don't want them. God damn it. Got to die again. <laughs> Slow start, y'all. <laughs> Slow start. Uh 400. You've been working out since we last fought punch you and kick you and then punch you in your fucking shit buddy <laughs> and stomp on your head <laughs> oh no oh come on poor poor squad he tried to hit he's not a what an asshole All right Sears should look down on us with uh with displeasure since we got murdered we've lost everything except our crazy amount of money it's time to to beat the enemies with our fucking skill and strength. So normally you'd start out with some clothing and at least a, a samurai sword. So I'm going to start out with nothing. Just got to show everybody. Ugh. I think one of the biggest reasons why um, I know that there's a lack of attention given to the game. It actually really drains the, the fun out of the game when you don't have to pay attention to the enemies and what they're doing. You don't have to pay attention to what's going on as much. You can easily just pound through anybody because you do so much damage. Uh, one of the worst things it does is it dulls your sense of thrill, but it also makes you not pay attention uh, later on. So I've seen where even when people... When they people who have those builds are tearing through enemies like crazy, they'll get into a situation and get fucking murdered. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah, that's because you didn't fucking stop and pay attention to what you were doing, you know? You're not completely uh, untouchable during that blade spin attack, you know? But people feel like they don't have to pay attention because normally they don't. Oh, yeah. Got us some gauntlets. Still naked, though. <laughs> Alright, so uh, once you start the game, you want to kill that asshole. You're going to have a sword at this point, um, so you're not actually going to be completely nakey-bakey like me. But um, you want to come over here and deal with this guy. You'll kill him. Just get him out of the way. The most important... Oh, shit. The most important thing about the beginning of the game is just gathering uh, Emrita, gathering your gold. Uh, unfortunately, I can't simulate that for you because I didn't. I didn't erase my, uh, my save. Maybe I should erase my save. Kick, you asshole. Or start a new game somehow. I'll do that in the next one. When we hit 30 minutes, I'll, I'll do that. But this is your first Revenant. Revenants are just kind of higher level normal enemies. Oh, shit. Uh-oh, he's got special shit on him. He's only at level 3, and he's got special shit on him. But revenants work at the this pretty much the same way that normal enemies work. It's just that they'll block after every attack. So if you hit them, um, oftentimes get ready for to, for an attack to be blocked. The next one, there are later on skills that you will gain where you can break that block, exploit that block, various things. You can exploit the fact that they attack like normal enemies. Um, oh shit! I was about to move off the edge like a doof. So you will be able to fight Revenants much better. But there was a time in the game... Uh, I dodged. Fuck off. <laughs> there was a time in the game where um, 
I was very afraid to fight these these revenants, but you got to understand that the more you fight them, the better you get at dealing with them because you start to see their combos. So you actually want to what, what are you doing? What are you, get up. Get up, you goddamn lazy asshole. I'll just put it on him. Oh, it's not it's not anything special. Just part Oh, that looks better. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> uh early game you actually want to have better protection. Um, but I know what I'm doing, so I'll go with the, the stuff that looks good. I'll go with the fashion souls. Where's our weapon? Nope. Yo, homie, yo. Oh, you know what I gotta fix? Um, I actually have to fix this real quick. Let me head back to the... I got blessings. Because you also won't have Kodama unless you find them. I won't take off the blessings. Uh, you could you could take the time to find Kodama. Uh, the Kodama blessing I have is the healer blessing, so I'll be getting more elixirs than you. Uh, if you find that you need to heal yourself more often because you keep getting hurt, oh shit, like that, then um, you definitely need to search for break that block, bitch, with my hands, with my bare hands. You definitely need to find more healer Kodama, and there are all there at this t point. There has to be like guides all over the place for you to be able to do that. So nothing too special about that. Yeah, finally got some footwear, baby. Oh yeah, my sandals, my mandals. <laughs> oh yeah, my naked mandals. <laughs> You want to know something crazy? Um, they have actually added to the skill list um, the like there's there's skills that will up your physical damage from using your hands and ki punches and kicks. So they've seen that players have been going around using fists, and uh, they actually give you ability you know the ability to increase the damage that you do, which is pretty cool. Uh, what isn't so cool is that they didn't give you a specific fighting style, man. Come on. Like we're actually about to get the new DLC. Uh, I think it's the thirtieth. And uh it might have been the twentieth. I don't know. Uh whatever. Uh but we're actually about to get the new Neo DLC and like why didn't they just make fist fighting into a fighting style instead of giving us something like Tonfa, I don't know. Whatever, it depends on them. But you can come back here. There's this body here. I mean, you guys already know the the hidden stuff in the game. There's no point for me to talk about that. And if you don't know it, uh, it's very easy to look it up and find it. Ho ho! Got some pants, baby. Mm, got some pants, baby. Early on in the game, you're not gonna know really how to play, but just understand that. Uh, Basically, the game works on a turn basis. So, what that means is, I know it's in real time. You're like, what the fuck are you talking about turn basis, you doofus? It's in real time. Well, what I'm talking about, you see what we're doing here? We're taking turns attacking, okay? This is what you want to do in, in combat in general. So, when I say turn basis, that's what I mean. You don't want to keep attacking the enemy over and over again because, remember, you have the stamina bar. So, eventually, your stamina bar will run too too thin. And if you're caught up close to the enemy without a, without stamina, they're going to hit you, break your block, and then you're vulnerable. A lot of enemies have contextual attacks where they'll do extra damage. Um, and a lot of enemies will just hit you and do a shit ton of damage. So, you want to actually take turns with them. You want to get in and then get out. Okay, because you're not going to be able to kill them within seconds of, of fighting, especially in the beginning of the game. <laughs> this is fucking Neo, bitch. <laughs> Goofy. All right. Um, let's see here. I hope my voice is actually. Hold on, guys. I hope my voice is actually being recorded instead of me just talking like a fucking idiot. Hello. Yes, it is. All right, good. All right, sorry about that. All right. Uh, first things first is finding a damn weapon, man. Like, is the game really gonna do this to me? I can't, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try and fight all three of them without a weapon. It's not a good idea. So if you go that way, you know you'll get ambushed. I'm not gonna try that. Let's go somewhere else. Let's try something else.
So if you've been playing Neo online, I'm very sorry. <laughs> because at this point you've realized that uh, it's not too fun. It's definitely not too fun now that everybody has uh, taken to building like crazy. And they do way too much damage to the enemies. And the enemies really don't... The enemies really don't... Oh, shit. Thanks for being a doofus, doofus. The enemies really don't have AI to where they can respond effectively to getting hit and having half their fucking health stripped. Um, for a player, if that happens, a player can start to, you know, get more desperate. Uh, they can either panic and get cut up and die, or they can take control of their, their, you know, their thoughts and everything and actually focus on what they're doing and come out victorious. But with an AI, it's like it only has one, you know... It only knows one way to play the game, and that's the way it's designed to play. So it'll continue doing that even if it's failing. And that's the big problem, is that it's too easy for people to get away with, uh, with exploits. Like, I'm taking all your fucking health and there's not really anything you can do about it. Like this. <laughs> like what I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Except he still had a, you know, at least he has a chance. The only reason these guys don't have a chance is not because I'm doing ridiculous health damage. It's because I know enough about the game to take, you know, to exploit their weaknesses. It's a, te it's technique based instead of I just do too much damage and there's nothing they can do to defend themselves. Holy fucking moly! I had a goddamn sword the entire time. <laughs> All right, if you're just starting out the game. You want to ignore every single, uh, every other weapon, and you just want to go with the blade first. It's the most balanced weapon, uh, it is the easiest to use, and it has the, the only real specification the sword has is the counter master, and you can't counter in the beginning, you can only counter as you, uh, get better at fighting with the sword. Basic combo, I can't even do my combo ender. Damn! It's fucking master, baby. <laughs> Cut your goddamn head off. This is another thing I actually talk to people about online. But when you have to fight multiple enemies in this game, in the alpha build, um, they actually had it to where enemies would actually hurt each other when they hit each other. But in this game, in the beta build, and in the original, in, in the actual release of the game, they took that out so enemies can't hurt each other anymore. And that was something I always thought they shouldn't have done. Because they were just following in the footsteps of Dark Souls, where with Dark Souls, enemies' attacks would just go through each other, and it won't make any fucking sense why that happened. Yeah, fighting multiple enemies, uh, especially these guys, because these are the most balanced um, enemies when you have to fight multiple of them. There are enemies that are unbalanced as fuck when you have to fight multiple. But these ones are the most balanced because they have very simple attacks, and it seems like they take more of a turn to do so. They don't, you know, attack through each other as easily and as fast. When it comes to fighting enemies in the beginning of the game, it's just about understanding what attacks they can do, and mainly it's about understanding what attacks you can do, because the attacks you can do, they can do. So it's very easy to understand that when you learn your fighting style, when you learn your fighting abilities, your techniques and capabilities, um, like your full combos, uh, things like that, especially in the beginning of the game, how they work. You know, just all the full square combos, for instance. You're going to see enemies do that a lot. Some of the the more foot, uh, foot uh, what did I call them? foot soldiers, they don't have your exact attacks, but they have just like single sweeps. So it's not too big of a deal. Learning stance is also imp imperative. As you can see, this dude is in low stance. Oftentimes, if an enemy does that that triangle attack, this... Oh, hold on. This. They're going to do the entire thing. So when you see a Revenant do two swipes of it, nine times out of ten, they're going to actually go ahead and do the, re the last swipe. Sometimes they won't, so you have to be careful of it. Because that can trip you up, and I, I wish it was more uh, consistent. <laughs> Exploitative. 
<laughs> Slipped off the edge there. He was in the air temporarily like that, and I hit him at the right time, and it instantly made him fall. Fucking doof. All right, so um, this is a perfect place to use your living weapon for the first time. I don't even know if you have access. Yeah, you do. You do have access to it at this point. There's going to be a lot of dicks around this side, so we're going to go ahead and uh, use living weapon after we um, after we take care of this dickhead. Did you see what I did there? That was a that's a very important way to compound damage on an enemy. Um, after I actually used the grapple on him, which is the the attack where you poke them in the stomach, and then um, or if you slice them like he did, he was on the ground basically, and I used the, what's called a final blow, stabbed him in his head. While the enemy is getting up, you can always switch to your um your heavy your high stance and do an attack like that, do a triangle attack. That works with everything. Yeah, that works with everything. That works with the Kasari Gama. It works with the spear. I don't know if it works with the hammer because I don't oftentimes do it. I don't oftentimes use a hammer or an axe. Um, but it definitely always works with the sword, the dual swords. Works with the um, the uh, the uh, 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 what's the big Odachi. So that is a, a technique that you're going to have to use all throughout the game because you want to be able to do as much damage as possible to these enemies. So we're going to... I'm not going to use the, the axe because I'm not very good at the axe. Especially when I'm about to get attacked by a bunch of dudes. So first thing you want to do is get their attention. If you have to block to get them closer to each other, then do so. Let's just go into a living weapon now. You want to get closer to them than I did there. Uh, because the activation of living weapon actually hurt, harms them as well. Shit. Yeah, that was an example of how the lock-on system can kind of um, fuck you over. I really should have taken it off. And I actually did. I think I did. I clicked it off. He just didn't let go for some reason. Oh, shit. I don't even have... Okay. I don't have grapple. That's why I haven't been doing it the entire time. Let's kill them. All right, so in that case, I actually wanted to release the living weapon. I mean, release the lock-on so that I could have grappled that guy. But then again, I couldn't grapple the guy. So anyway, uh, the first time you get samurai points, if you look down in the lower left corner where my thing is switching, right below that, obviously, below that is your uh, the skills you have available to learn. So let's go into learn skills and learn grapple. That When you learn grapple for any weapon, it'll learn it for all the weapons. So we got access to pole kick. That's pretty early on in the game. I would not get cornered tiger. I wouldn't get flux or flash attack. I never use that. Uh, what the fuck? Ah, I'm on the spears. No. Kick. There we go. I am going to... I My primary weapons are going to be the dual swords, the spear, and the uh, sword. But we'll, we'll talk about that later. Um, I'm not going to use these until I actually do the mission to get them. But I'm not going to have you uh, walk through every single one of those training missions because they're kind of repetitive. So, and I'm only going to do like main missions too. There's no reason to do side missions. Uh, we're going to need uh, EI Strike as, a, as it's called. <laughs> um, for now, I'm going to just stay with the first EI Strike because you won't have access to this until later on, until you do more of the sword uh, training missions. You do have access to Sword Kai right now. Um, the only reason you would get Sword Kai is to get here to Relentless, because otherwise Sword Kai is a waste of time. With Quadrasect, you don't need any of these. Sword of Discernment is that. It's not very useful. Um, it's only for like poking at enemies, and the better way to do that is to actually use the the triangle to actually poke enemies uh swallow's wing is a good weapon a good a good um thing we'll be using later on uh, it just gives you an extra hit morning moon that's very useful uh let me see water shadow and water shadow and haze are two main counter attacking um skills so i'm gonna go ahead and unlock them now even though you wouldn't have access to them at this point Wait, should I? No, I'm not going to. 
I'll, I'll wait until I get to um, the first training mission and, and beat that. Then I'll show you what, what it would look like, you being able to use those skills. Because Haze and Water Shadow are the premier abilities of the sword. They're the whole reason why you want to use the sword. Because it can counterattack pretty much anything. Not every single, you know, not all enemies, but it can counterattack so many enemies that it's very, very useful. Oh shit, I stepped into that. Oh, by the way, if you saw that, I actually went in the direction that his weapon was going in. You don't want to do that. You want to go through the weapon swipe. So if he was to swipe in a certain direction, like that, you want to do that. Hold on, I wasn't close enough. Swipe. Like that, you see that? See how I went through it? See? Do it again. Yeah, see, so you want to do that. That is the way you dodge attacks, okay? You want to dodge into the enemy swipe, not away from it, because then you'll get hit with the tail end of the hitbox of the weapon. Alright, that's uh, that's 31 minutes. Um, like I said, I'll try to get rid of my money and try to get really get rid of my stuff. I don't know if I'll be able to. If I'm not, then I'll just start over so I can do it all from the, uh, the, the top. But thanks, guys, for tuning in. Um, I'll be back as soon as I can. I'm very, very busy. Uh, unfortunately, I, I really don't want to be, <laughs> but you got to do what you got to do. Um, I appreciate all your help, guys. I appreciate your 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 viewing, and uh, yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, and um, and uh, I'll see you guys when I come back. All right, thank you. Bye. Oops, didn't mean to do that.